In the downriver city of Lincoln Park, every year, people dial 911 more than 14,000 times. And let's make it clear right up front, those emergency calls are generally very well handled. But that doesn't make what happened to Adrian Ledesma any less shocking. I was really scared because, you know, it's my dad and he fell. Was not supposed to fall like that. His fall was so frightening because he was just three weeks out of the hospital where he underwent brain surgery and suddenly he's on the kitchen floor unconscious and shaking with a severe seizure. I was scared. Like, I don't know, I was freaking out. So this 17 year old grabbed her phone and dialed 911. She says she got no quick answers so hung up and called again. Now you know those emergency calls are recorded, but did you know the recording starts even before the call is answered? So you can hear her near panic when again she can't get an immediate answer, blurting out the F word just as the call is picked up. Nine one one. I need an emer I need an ambulance. I have heart rate. But the Lincoln Park cop who takes the call admonishes her and only makes her more frantic. Well, okay. First of all, you don't need to swear over nine one one. Okay. And slow down. Ambulance. You haven't had a chance to tell him how serious this is, right? Mm -hmm. And he's already hung up the phone. Well, I thought my dad was going to die. I was really scared. So you called back. 911. Um, are you going to give me an ambulance? Are you going to swear problem? again, you stupid? Are we going to have a huh? problem? No, you're are not going to have a problem. Problem? You have to lose your job. Your dad's still on the floor. Well, I'm thinking he's seriously hurt because he's still having a seizure and it's a really long seizure. And I'm thinking that I want to, you know, complain about this guy because he shouldn't be hanging up on me. So she calls back a third time. 911. I just want to know what's your name because you're getting sued. Good. What is it? Good. Good for you because you're a buffoon. After wasting more than six minutes, the cop finally called the rescue squad. There it is. I, I kept getting a 911 call from this filthy mouth girl that wanted a rescue. I never found out what it was and I was never able to transfer it over to you. And that's the same story he told on the police radio when he dispatched a squad car to the house. I kept getting 911 calls from this girl hostile girl requesting a rescue. No idea what it's for. I couldn't get through her uh, comments. Meanwhile, Adrian left her older brother to tend to her dad and rushed a few blocks here to police headquarters to demand help and file a complaint. By now, she was even more agitated, more profane and louder when the cop greeted her with this. Are you the girl with the foul mouth? And I said, yes. And then he came out of from the back and then arrested, well, put me in the back room and then arrested me. That's right. She was cuffed and cited for disorderly conduct and abusing 911, a charge that doesn't even exist. So, who is this officer who so badly mishandled such an important job? He's Sergeant Robert McFarland, a 20-year veteran of the department and a man who did his best to avoid public accountability for what he did here. Sergeant, get out of here. Help us understand. Get out of here. What were you thinking? No comment. What were you thinking, sir? You put a life in danger. You put the taxpayers at risk. The officer who makes at least sixty-two thousand dollars a year has publicly said not a word at all about his conduct that day, while his boss has not ducked responsibility. Lincoln Park's chief of police, Tom Carnes, not only agreed to be interviewed, he was refreshingly candid and made no excuses. It's not uh, the station's finest moment, I'll tell you that. The chief frankly admits, my guy screwed up on this. But still, he says he just can't explain why it happened. He never once asked her, what's wrong? Are you in an emergency situation? Do you need an ambulance? Is somebody dying? No, he did not. It's not how can he... <laughs> Obviously, something happened there, something that is totally out of his character. In fact, my review of Sergeant McFarland's record shows several commendations as a Lincoln Park officer. He's repeatedly received positive performance evaluations and not a single disciplinary action against him ever before. Anybody who, like, finds their dad like that's going to be panicking, you know? So I think they're trained to know that people are going to be freaking out when they call. I wouldn't feel bad if he got suspended. Maybe fired. Is it 30 days suspension? Would that be enough? Well, I think it may be something where he will lose time over, and he will have he will have training. But he'll have his job. Yes. Well, since my visit with the chief, we've learned he's decided to suspend the sergeant without pay for two weeks and send him for some additional training. Meanwhile, the girl and her dad, who is home recovering, have an attorney, and they're talking settlement with the city. Steve Wilson, Channel 7 Action.